So today we're taking a look at a new release from THI5 and I'm really glad that these were sent over to me because they are absolutely brilliant and from a sound perspective, it's really, really nice. Anyways, I think these are really great IEM, so let's take a look at them. So this IEM is provided to me by HiFigo and although these were sent over to me, no money has exchanged hands and this review is based solely on my honest and unbiased opinion. The THI5 face rate retails for a nice 189 US dollars or about 840 Malaysia ringgit, which I think is pretty competitive in this space. Base, and it's more expensive than the Tin Hi Fi's Planet Magnetic IEM, which is the P1 Max. So, if this IEM tickles your fancy, do check out Hi Fi Go's link in the description below. So the design of the face rate is a really cool one and if you know what they represent, I think it will make a lot of sense why they are designed like that. And if you know the history of the Beijing Opera, they all wear masks during their performance or makeup and their masks are often symmetrical from left to right and the face rate IEM is designed to mimic that. So if you put them side by side like that, it represents the Beijing Opera mask. Pretty cool and it's honestly a nice conversational piece. So the IEM is also really unique from the build material standpoint because this IEM is CNC out of aircraft grade aluminum and they are made of this one piece cavity and, and when you hold it in your hands they feel cold and very nice. The inside of the cavity is also 3D printed to ensure that all the components sit where it needs to be inside without moving around and the IEM fits really well in my ears however if you do look closely at the back here they do not have the typical IEM contour but fortunately they are still super comfortable fit for me. Everything you can touch on this IEM is made of metal and they look really professional and TH Hi-Fi also throws in quite a number of ear tips for you to choose from and I choose the thicker ones with color inserts and I find that these resonate the best for my liking. So they also throw in a nice case for you to bring this everywhere you go giving it a good sniff I can tell you that this probably doesn't smell like real leather and I believe this is just PU leather so it's very nice for them to give you a case so it's convenient for you to bring around. So in terms of the cable TH Hi-Fi doesn't market this to have like how many cores inside nor it has a composite of copper or silver wires but they do say it's high priority hybrid cable with a standard MMCX connector uh, which is this rounded connector here so these are pretty standard cables in the market for audiophile cables so you can swap them out easily and find what you like the face rate also comes with a standard gold plated 3.5 millimeter jack to support most of the players or DAC amps out there without the need for conversion so one of the cool features of the face rate is its hybrid multi-driver setup. THFI gives it a triple driver setup. So you're going to get a single 9.2mm dynamic driver and two balanced armature driver. Uh, they didn't go with the nose brand name BA drivers, but what they provide here is still a really nice setup. So the earbuds comes with a pretty low impedance of 10.5 ohms. So it's very easy to power these IEMs without the need for a complicated DAC amp setup. But of course, with your favorite DAC amp, they will definitely sound a lot better and more tuned to as you are liking. Overall, very nicely spec earbuds with very low distortion. So when I usually test my IEMs, I use it with my Sony DAP player. I felt a little overwhelmed with using it, but for starters, the Sony player doesn't have the most high quality built-in DAC. I later plug this into the Creative Sound Blaster G3 DAC M as well as the High BFC4 just to give it a test out to see the difference and I was immediately jaw dropped because these earbuds are just amazing. You know that rare occasion when you just get goosebumps from an earbuds uh, when you listen to them and this is definitely one of them. The IM here is not high rest audio certified yet, they produce very clean powerful sound. I'm not sure how TH Hi Fi tune these drivers, but man, they sound good. The bass on this are sufficiently powerful, not just IEM level sufficient, but the dynamic driver here does pump out quite a lot of power and rumble. And I think TH Hi Fi did a fantastic job focusing slightly on the mid bass as well as the sub bass rumble. Extremely powerful and satisfying to listen to. The vocals in this case is very well reproduced, and I believe this is done very well uh, by one of the DBA drivers, so vocal sounds present in the zone and very forward. Any music with audio Audio emphasis sounds extremely nice regardless if they are male or female vocals. Highs here is also really bright and well controlled, no indication of distortion, no muffling, not messy, just very nicely executed and satisfying to listen to. I really love the audio signature here and kudos to TH Hi-Fi for tuning this very nicely. So I think from an audiophile world standpoint, these may not be that very expensive, but if you're like me jumping in from a Bluetooth world, I think these are comparatively expensive considering the options of wireless earbuds you can buy with that price. But then again, if you're thinking from that angle, I think these earbuds may not be targeted for you. These are for those who are searching for earbuds that they can enjoy powerful, clean, low distortion audio and bring out the most out of their music. So if that's what you're looking for, 
for it, then the face rate is definitely well worth the price. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere, and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.